With the coronavirus in full swing, fear and panic have begun to grow. In order to reassure my friends and family back home, I've decided to share my real opinions on current news and my daily life here in China. This is Viral Videos with me, Ryan. Hello folks, welcome to Viral Videos. I've posted six episodes now, and it seems the question that I get asked the most is, am I scared? I'm not gonna lie. When they closed Wuhan off on January 23rd, I got a little nervous myself. After all, Wuhan is a huge trade hub for central China. You don't quarantine a city like that unless you have to. So this really made me take the virus pretty seriously. In truth, viruses are not new to us. If you were to list every virus we've faced, the history of human development would look like a history of fighting infectious diseases. One of the biggest flu pandemics was the 1918 flu, also known as Spanish flu. It killed 50 to 100 million people, and at the time, the population of the Earth was only 1.7 billion. Just this year in the US, the seasonal flu is estimated to have already infected over 30 million with tens of thousands of deaths. Besides these, there's also smallpox, SARS, Ebola, and so on. Each of these microorganisms are around 10 to 300 nanometers in diameter, and infection can happen inadvertently in humans, maybe from a sneeze or even physical contact. Each of these viruses have claimed countless lives. Another addition to this deadly family is the new coronavirus strain. With nearly 80,000 confirmed cases, and a death toll of over 2,500 people. Compared to the Spanish flu, this seems rather low. Maybe they didn't have to close off Wuhan after all. Hmm, let's dig deeper. Next, we can check the r naught of these viruses. r naught is the basic reproduction number, and simply put, it's how many people one contagious individual can infect. It can be used to show us just how bad a virus outbreak might get. The Spanish flu had an r naught of 2 to 3, while Ebola viruses was about 2, and the r naught of SARS is 2 to 4, while the US flu had an r naught of 1.3. If you want to guess the r naught of this newest coronavirus strain? 3.77. This means that without any intervention, it would take less than 21 days to completely infect the world. Did that knot in your stomach just tighten up? This is why China quarantined Wuhan, and this is why we need to self-quarantine, wear a mask, and wash our hands often. Quarantine can be a scary word. When I hear it, I always think of the terrible stories of the Black Death, the ones that we read about in our history books. But if you search for Wuhan quarantine images, you can find something they call a Feng Song. These makeshift isolation wards are being erected all over the city, some are even being made out of converted shipping crates. There are currently 13 of these Fangsong in Wuhan that have isolated almost 10,000 suspected patients. Here's some people doing Tai Chi. I've wanted to learn, but I haven't found the time yet. <laughs> even the dancing eyes are out in full swing. These guys are even having a birthday party. This is not quite what I imagined. Certainly this quarantine is gonna take a huge toll on the people of Wuhan and the country's economy. But it'll all be worth it in the end if we can get this virus under control. If the patients in these isolation wards can be so optimistic and positive, why can't we? Hopefully Wuhan gets back to normal soon. But until then, let's take a page from their book and try to keep our spirits high. Safe and sound in Beijing, I'm Ryan, and this has been Viral Videos.